National Anthem Day of Zimbabwe. Match day three of the Gold Cup just came to pass and you know what? Still no win for the Sables. They made their trick to Tunisia desperate for a win. The situation around that particular game, very controversial. Who said what? What was supposed to happen? What was the procedure supposed to be? We don't really want to dwell on, 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 on that. Uh, the truth of the matter is that um, the way we, we played against Tunisia was, was out of our character. And, uh, you know, I also want to apologize to our fans for, for letting them down. was the loss and this is after the Sables actually had a lead in that particular game which means that basically Zimbabwe is facing relegation this means in their next match and this is going to be against Namibia they need to capture a win we haven't sat down um, with the coach to see what, what, what we need to work on uh, against Namibia obviously we also need to review um, uh, the Namibia games, uh, how they're playing, and uh, yeah, and then we, we take it from there. But it doesn't mean that a three week break doesn't mean that we'll be sitting, I think we'll be definitely training and uh, working hard um, to make sure that we put up a, a, a better performance. So it's keeping it with the forwards, allowing the big men trying to work it up before spreading it wide and now it does come out wide for the back line Mandy Venga with a good little run gets the ball float away as well and this will be a second score for Zimbabwe Akraf Tif now to his fly off Gafsi good hands into the hands of Ike Mokni but stolen by Zimbabwe again and the handling mistake coming from Zimbabwe, but advantage being played for this Tunisian side. The good step on the inside, and this will be a score for Isam Wirani. And Tunisia are right back in this game. Absolute delight. Right. And Al Gafsi has found his kicking boots as well. He puts Tunisia back in the lead in the second half. It's a one-point ball game in the final 20 minutes. Eats up a few more seconds. Strong scrum coming from uh, Tunisia. A drop kick attempt. It's good as well. Mohamed Al Gafsi has slotted it. The referee has blown his final whistle. And what a phenomenal result here in Beja for the home side. Tunisia have picked up another victory over Zimbabwe. The full-time score here in Beja, another historic victory for the home side. It's Tunisia 18, Zimbabwe 14. My name is Susquare and I'll be keeping you up to date with all the action.